Hey, it's Shane with GotRom.com. This video is a flexibility routine for you to do before you meditate. So there's two things that basically you need to do to get ready for meditation. One is get your hips loose and mobile. You gotta have a lot of hip mobility to sit comfortably cross-legged for an hour. And the other thing is to get your posture in a position where you're not sitting like this, all slumped over, but your upper body is in a good position as well so that you can sit most comfortably for the full hour. So, stay tuned. So we're gonna start by working on your hip mobility. First thing you're gonna do is lay on your back and we're gonna stretch your glutes in this kind of figure four position. Now there's various ways to do this. First one is what they call thread the needle, where you go here, grab your own thigh, and simply breathe and relax. Other people find more comfort reaching over the top, grabbing the knee, and pulling it like this. Breathe and relax. Whatever position you adopt, you should keep your foot flexed up towards your knee, and your pinky toe should press towards this knee. So foot coming up, pinky toe pressing towards this knee, and then here or here, breathing and relaxing. As you get more flexible and your back is plenty comfortable, assuming you don't have any back problems, you can pull farther and farther. Some people like to wrap this elbow crease around the foot, this elbow crease around the outside of the knee, and then hug the whole system in even closer. I like to do this and I like to kind of reach up and grab this foot as well and pull this. This kind of mimics a little bit how you're sitting in meditation where both your legs are kind of across like this. This is a little bit more advanced, so don't worry if you're not here. This is perfectly acceptable. Breathing and relaxing, whatever is a good stretch for you. I also like to kind of roll to the side a little bit and even rest my elbow on the ground because then I'm a little bit more stable. If I'm here, kind of wobbling around and I can't fully relax. Whereas in this position, I'm a little more comfortable. So hang out here for a little while, breathing and relaxing. Another version of a glute stretch, if you're familiar with it, is pigeon pose in yoga. To do pigeon pose, you come up in this position, let your knee drop to the ground. And then you can do a couple of things. One, you can thread the needle in this direction. And drop your shoulder towards the ground. <sighs> Breathing and relaxing. Even resting your head on the ground. Sometimes I like to go here and push that out even more. It kind of externally rotates my thigh, which is what we're trying to improve in pigeon pose. Hip flexion, external rotation. So I'm breathing and relaxing here. Option number two is you can kind of come chest more towards the middle, rest your forehead or whatever's comfortable. If this isn't comfortable, it's totally fair game to stay up here in this position, breathing and relaxing. But slowly over time, you work your way down and you can even rest shoulder like this, if that's comfortable. All of these feel different, so explore with them, play with them over time. So this is going to free up your hip rotation so you can sit more comfortably for meditation. The next stretch that we're going to do is for your hip flexors. So this area right here can be a limiting factor actually when you sit in this position, even if your hips are elevated a little bit. This little band of tightness can be a limiting factor. So we're gonna stretch it. You're gonna do that by coming in this position playing around, settling in here. And then what I want you to try is to bring your hand to your foot, square yourself up, heel towards your butt, and then hip comes forward more. If you need to hold a chair or something to balance, that's fine. But this is the target right here. And you can play around with changing the angles a little bit, maybe coming less squared up to the front or more squared up. But just try to feel a stretch right in here. So hang out here for a minute or two. 
obviously getting both sides. The next thing that we're going to do is when you're sitting for meditation, you need to have some adductor flexibility. If you're, if you're sitting like this, then you're a little bit tight in your adductors. And you need to be able to get them to release down a little bit. So there's two good stretches that I'm going to show you. The first one is frog. So we come into this kind of position. Get your knees as wide as possible. Your feet can be touching behind you. And then you kind of lift your chest, stick your butt back, and then kind of wiggle around until you find a comfortable kind of groin stretch. Hang out, breathe and relax. Sometimes it's really helpful to have a wall behind you that you put your feet against. That changes how the stretch feels. But you can also do it just on a yoga mat. So wiggle around. I like to kind of come up to my fingertips. Sit back and then lean forward. <sighs> Sit back, lean forward, wiggle around. Also play around with squeezing the ground, like I'm trying to pull both knees together at the same time. So I squeeze, <sighs> release, wiggle around, or you can contract your glutes, squeeze. See how that kind of centrates your hip and makes it feel more comfortable? So this is the frog stretch. The next stretch is the butterfly. This stretch is called the butterfly stretch. And as you can see, it pretty closely mimics your meditation posture. So when you stretch these muscles in this position, it's kind of very sport specific, you could say, like very similar to the position you're trying to improve. So what you do is you sit with your back against a wall. That's very important. I like to put my hands on the ground and lift myself up and just kind of wiggle around. I'm squeezing my glute muscles, just kind of trying to settle into my hips. And then I set myself back on the ground. From here, you can either press both knees down towards the ground, kind of at an angle. I'm pressing away from myself. I even sometimes twist my thighs externally, like so, and press away. Breathing and relaxing, or contracting and relaxing, meaning I'm gonna pull my knees up into my own resistance. As I hold my breath, three, two, one, release. Or I can kind of lean to the side and stiff arm this leg, twisting it externally. Or I can pull up into my own resistance. Three, two, one, release. Or I can stiff arm the other side. I also have a video where I show you how to use weights to do this stretch, the loaded butterfly stretch. But if you'll just open up these groin muscles, I think you'll find that it really helps your hip mobility for your meditation. So the next thing I'm going to do is work on your upper body posture for when you sit. So there's two ways that I like to go about this. Using either the yoga tune-up balls, there's a brand called yoga tune-up balls that are a little softer a little larger. I like the larger diameter for almost everyone. You can get more leverage on it. But if you're a little sensitive to massage on your upper back, like you can't handle a lot of pressure, then what you need to do is use a softer ball like this. I have been accustomed to this for some time, so I'm going to use a little bit something firmer with the lacrosse balls. So I'm going to use the lacrosse balls. I'm going to lay on my back, put them on my upper back, and then I'm going to slowly steamroll up and down. If this is too intense, you can put your hands on the ground, but I like to have my hands here. Or you can teeter-totter if you find kind of a, oh, that's a sticky spot right there. Teeter-totter, change your elbow position. <sighs> Breathe and relax. Sometimes I like to just kind of like do little vibrations. I'm just kind of using my feet to move my body like this. You can see that it's kind of improving my posture. I'm arching from my upper back. I'm not arching from my lower back. It's more from my upper back. <sighs> Breathing, relaxing, steamrolling, scrubbing, massaging, even going in this position, like so. <sighs> so after you do this for a couple minutes, you'll feel that when you sit up, ah, your posture feels a little bit better. So we're gonna reinforce that with a little bit of pec stretching, and then a posture stretch. The next exercise is a pec stretch to improve your posture. So you're gonna need a door frame or a wall or something like this. You're gonna put your low elbow against the wall and you're going to step through 
so that this chest kind of opens up, like really good posture. And then you're gonna breathe and relax. <sighs> breathe and relax. Or you can do a contract, relax technique, where I'm gonna pretend like I take a big breath, <sighs> and I pretend like I'm doing this motion, but really I'm not gonna be moving. Do that for a couple seconds, and then I relax, and then it allows me to stretch better. So it looks like this, I'm here. <sighs> pulling, 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 pulling. <sighs> Release. Stretch a little bit more. The other thing I like to do is kind of sink my body down, as if my arm was going up and out in this direction. <sighs> so you should feel the stretch here, you shouldn't feel it in the tip of the shoulder or in the bicep. This is the target right here. It's going to improve your posture for sitting meditation. The next stretch is a stretch for your thoracic spine, for your posture. If you think about it, for years and years and years, basically your entire life, gravity is constantly pulling you in this direction as you're studying in school, driving, texting. Everything is rounding you forward, and that's why grandmas and grandpas look like this, typically. You spent almost no time being in a more improved postural position, so this exercise is going to help you just with your posture in general, but especially for sitting meditation posture. So here's what it looks like. You're going to take your hands, put them on a wall. You can do this on the ground too, but a wall is really nice. Up high in the wall, feet go back, and then you're going to drop your chest down towards the wall. The goal is to feel an arching sensation in your upper back. So I'm kind of trying to pull my shoulder blades down into my pockets as my hands are up the wall. <sighs> Breathe and relax. <sighs> and just feel an arching sensation in your upper back. <sighs> you can change your head position, which will change where you feel the stretch. For example, this might feel more in your neck, whereas this might feel more in your upper back. So try this stretch before you sit for meditation or just as part of your daily body maintenance routine, and I think you'll like it. So there we go. That's a short, simple flexibility routine that you can do to prepare for sitting meditation. I think that if you open up your hips, improve your posture a little bit, you'll find that your sits are more and more comfortable. If you have any questions, I'm here to help. See you in the next video.